not an action-packed film. If you're looking for an action-packed video on YouTube, this ain't it. It's just driving to San Diego. So it's in the dark, just showing you stuff. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Got the GTA off the trailer. Back in Montana, like I say in a previous video, I'm gonna be heading back to San Diego again. Just going round and round and round. So, this video is just a trip down. And it's not a very interesting trip. It's just straight through. And it's an 18 hour drive. By the time you stop and get fuel and feed the baby and let the dog walk and stretch your legs a few times, it's, it's 21 hours. It's 21 hours or so. Not that bad. It's a nice, um, it's a nice trip. It really is. When you consider if you took three people and a baby and got tickets and then paid for a dog, round trip, it's going to come up close to like 4, 4, 4, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 1700 bucks plus taxes. Plus you got to get to the airport and back or pay for parking. So this is like a $2,000 trip for somebody to make. And like when I'm driving, it's like it's a hundred and I get I get about 11 miles a gallon of yanking a trailer down there. 10, 5, 11, 5, depends on how fast I'm going and all that stuff, how heavy it is. So, you know, I mean, it's like 125 gallons of gas at like 250 or so, $3. I mean, that's 325 bucks or so is what I think I end up at when it's good gas prices. So, big difference. And I get to haul a car back up and down. So. Check this out, it's just what it is. I do daily videos, as you know, maybe. If not, subscribe, this one won't be the funnest of them. It's just driving down and stuff happening on the way. So, more exciting stuff tomorrow. And, I don't know, here we go. All right, 234 gallon. I don't know if you can see that. Almost to Hamilton. We just left and we are heading to San Diego. San Diego. Yeah. And then, on the road. So, I don't know what I'm making a video about. We're going in to buy something. It's like, she's in the wheelchair. She can't even move or talk. So they, well, it's not really. She has to like move in the chair like this. So they have games for people like her. Are you talking about the no arm girl? Yeah, well, there's her too. See, they have, they put special Olympics to where the no arm girl could do something. Everybody gets to do something. $90.70, 38 gallons. Yeehaw! Let's go. But it's a good thing Lily doesn't like Zot. Pull the seat back. Get your belt on. Okay, you can see in the mirror there. There goes Rich. He had to drive up from Stevensville to Hamilton, and we had to drive back from Darby to Hamilton. So he went about 20 miles, and I went about 14. Because I didn't put a plate on my truck. And I can say it now because it's not illegal. I've got a plate on my truck. I just totally forgot, man. Could you imagine getting to Utah and not having a plate? They put me in Mormon jail. That's all, that's it, that's it. You have to take three more wives now. <laughs> no. Well, it's March, and we still got plenty of icy snow up here on the pass. Look at that. Hope it shows up. I doubt the ski resort's open up here. But just gonna make some little clips, put them together in a trip video. This is Lost Trail Pass in Montana. And it's a quite a big pass. I would not have attempted to go this way a month ago. No way, shape, or form. Because there was that much on the roads. Looks like we were skiing not long ago, huh? You can see all the ski marks. 
Well, the snow on the side of the road is officially taller than me. And we're throwing a little bit of water back on this bad boy. But pretty clean, nice car, it's riding good. Everything's all still tight. I'm liking it. You put my the masks. Okay, I got it then. Welcome to Idaho. Look at all stickers all over it. Yeah. Hard to see in the video, probably. 44 miles to salmon. And I don't like going. I just am not a fan of Idaho and Utah. Okay. Like you. Look at the roads are worse on this side. It's higher. You know what I mean? Yeah. Less width. They just don't can't hear the roads the same. Well, they're skiing. Yeah. That one must have been going, huh? I don't want to go skiing. No, that's... Yeah, but that right there is not for beginners. But let's um, snow sled first. Wow, look at how much There's snow. People. Lots of them, too. Do you see them, Lily? Look at all the elk. Just cool, old school downtown. Hard to beat. Zoom Arcade. What's that all about? Oh, they just open for parties. Huh, cool. Whiskey Whaley's. Little Women in Fantasy Island. Huh? It just came out or is it the old one? Um, Probably the old one. Oh, no, there's a new like from what, three, four years ago? No. Oh, really? And Fantasy Island came out again? Because it looked like a new poster. That'd be cool. Okay, Idaho Falls. I did a quick live stream here real quick. Sherry's, that's been around forever, man. If you've traveled on the road much and been done any trucking, you know about Sherry's. But this is it. You got the... Cars were loaded up. I'm on the 15. I'm in Idaho Falls. Just stopped at uh, Walmart. Got some sandwich meat. Can get back on the road. But it's definitely a little trip. Actually, it's 2.36 a gallon here. And the Indian Res, where I'm going to stop and get smokes, is 2.56. So we're talking 20 cents a gallon times 30 gallons. Yeah, buddy. Not on my watch. About 30 gallons, I figure. About 9 o'clock in Salt Lake City almost. Refineries everywhere. Teething baby. Quiet now. Knock on the side of my excursion wood. And yeah. Mormon town. Yeehaw, stinking. Where is this? Nephi, Utah, buddy. Middle of nowhere but it's stinking 1040 at night or so. And we'll see what happens here. Moving on down the line. Stinking almost halfway.
Well, right at 30 gallons at about 250, 246 a gallon, 249. Used a little bit more this time. Just a little bit more, 275 a gallon, yeah. Yeah, I don't even know if that showed up. How you doing? Three o'clock in the morning, San Diego time, LA time, Vegas time. So it's actually four o'clock in the morning. That's Vegas. I don't know how big it's gonna look in the little screen, but it looks pretty big from where I'm sitting. That's one end, right over there. And oh, I can't even see it all, seriously. It's like, it is so stinking huge. Nothing but light, it goes around the hill. It goes around a hill over there. You can't even see the other side of it. It's amazing. There's a hill right there. You can't even see my finger, so it don't matter. Well, I'm still sitting at 15, 10, 15 miles away from it. The stratosphere and a bunch more of Las Vegas. Still kind of at the old end, but the old end was the good end. The new end, meh. The new Raider Stadium. I don't know if you can see it, man. It's dark. It's a black stadium, which is actually super, super cool, but not for our intended purpose. Just a bunch of glare. It's pretty, though. Okay, here we are at one of the biggest wastes of money that you could ever imagine. This is coming into California at state lines. And they've split the truck scales up to the car lane because they want to check and make sure whether or not you have fruits or vegetables. Now, it used to, you just kept going straight. Boom. Now, you veer off and go around. And they stop all the trucks. Instead of stopping them way back there, to where they can get their speed back up, they stop them on the middle of a 4% grade, 5% grade. Redunculous. Totally redunculous. And 99% of the time, they don't even want to talk to me here. They just want to wave me through, get rid of me, and go back to eating the apples they confiscated earlier. Looks like there's one lane open. They might want to talk to us tonight. They ain't gonna want to talk to us. They don't do shit here. Agricultural inspection. They say, back in the day, that this is where they told people that California was full and you needed to turn around and go home. Coronavirus. I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna talk to her. Him. Is it him? What What do you guys really check for? So, uh, agricultural inspection. So plants, uh, recycling materials, exotic animals. So throw out your apples before. You get, I mean, I actually literally throw out apples before I get here. I don't think I'm supposed so to. So like, fruit. so like, say you're from Nevada or California, you're technically considered low risk because you're just returning from a gambling state. So we'll usually do a visual inspection there. Utah, it's more or less, you know, just gotta eyeball your, your drivers and everything. But I always wondered because it's usually just pretty fast. And yeah. So. Then one time I did have some with me and they, they said, oh, keep it, it's no problem. If you bought it at a grocery store, then it's already been treated and it's, and it's had these items. But if we're looking for organics and all that, so. Thank you. Okay. Huh. They're wasting our tax money is what they're doing. Nice guy, though. That was a great answer. Great answer there, dude. Cool stuff. So glad to see my tax money being spent inappropriately. To slow down semis and make them get lower gas mileage and go up this hill at frickin' eight miles an hour and gum up traffic. You go, California. Well, here we are. 
back past state line about 20 minutes. I should have took a video where we stopped there. We stopped about 4.10. It's about 6.50. 4.10 would have been 5.10 Montana time. So it's not even 7 yet. Probably make it in around 2. So here I am trying to keep it slow. Flow. I'm going 66. Supposed to be 55. But seriously, dude, I've got a semi on my ass and one passing me in the truck lane. So, 55 is not possible. I mean, the dude was like three inches from my bumper at 55. Well, that's the guy right there that was riding my butt. And he ain't going but 80. 80 in a 55, not me. Law by. Here it is again. Me going 65 in the slow truck lane. The truck in front of me is essentially leaving me in the All the while, this guy is going stinking 75. You know, whatever. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And Lily's here. Hi. Got the Cosworth. And I have just pulled up to the coolest McDonald's in the whole wide world. Breeder's not liking that puppy. This is the coolest McDonald's in the entire world. And it's in um, Barstow, California. And they must have 15, 20. Oh, that's one. They must have 15, 20 actual train cars here. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty, pretty freaking cool. Montana? Really? Barstow Station. This is the actual train station. I don't think the Amtrak actually picks up here no more. If they do, it's a different spot. That's cool. You get to see a What's wrong with your head? Huh? What's wrong with your head? Nothing. Are you okay? Are you Hi, Vlad! Are you total... Is she total what? Totally full of <laughs> Hang on, I gotta do something, babe. Bless you. Oh, that's not it now. <laughs> I just want a little bit. Dude. I thought it was for you. Oh my god. Come on, dude. He's a What do you think of that? He's like, I want my hat off my eyeball. He likes you. I think he probably does. <laughs> Would you be nice to me for a change, babe? I think they fucked this order up. And what could be cooler for breakfast than a big old train going by while you're having your big breakfast? Yeah! It even says McDonald's Barstow Station on it. Pretty cool. Well, I'm in Barstow. I don't know what I've exactly filmed. I know I'm getting fuel again. 31, 10 gallons, probably about 13, 14 take on this one. But, yeah. How much is it here? Three and a quarter. So we basically came from two and a quarter to three and a quarter. What a bogus bunch of crap. Well, okay, so it's taken a little bit more than I thought, man. A couple gallons. Okay, I filled up in Montana for 90 bucks. Here, I got 41 gallons there for 90. I got 19 for 60. That's crazy. Fuck this state. Well, that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell, all that good stuff. I'll see you tomorrow.